All right, we're going to go ahead and put the valve seals on these heads. Uh, already cleaned them today, ran, ran a thread chaser through all the bolt holes in them, blew them out there, uh, washed them really good in the sink, hot soapy water, run board brush down through the guides, uh, washed the valves, all that stuff. So let's pop these seals in here. I'm just using... Uh, Using the stock Harley valve seals, uh, I like those a little bit better than some of them aftermarket ones. So let's pop these on my valve seal driver here. Notice how it changed tone a little bit once it's seated. Uh, pop this other one on there. These stock seals come in two varieties. There's the early ones, uh, rubber or viton or whatever you want to call it, is a blue color, and these later ones are a black color. Uh, I've never had a problem with these coming off. Uh, some of the other styles, I've had problems with them loosening up on the guides and coming off. And leaking. I've already put my 30,000 shims in here under the bottom spring retainers, bottom collars, whatever you want to call them. Just putting a little assembly lube on the valve here. Then I'll, I'll put the assembly lube on the tips once I put them in the bike there. Once I put the heads on. I'll put assembly lube on the rocker arms and the tips of the valves. And I do have these in order so I know which one goes with which which had, as far as, since I already uh, measured these and laid them out yesterday in another video about checking the installed height and packing the springs and all that. If you want to check that out, that'd be cool. If not, that's cool too, so... Put our keepers in here. Now, when you put the keepers in, I always put them in with uh, this way. So the split's facing this way. So you're not loading one side of the keeper there. Now, I guess it doesn't really matter, but that's, that's just the way I've always done them. So
Yeah, it's good there. Let's pop these ones in here. And I don't know, I was planning on having these police putting heads on today. Mm -hmm. Oh my, it's still kind of early. It's only uh, 2 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, something like that. So I might get the heads actually bolted down. Damn it. It's always that one that wants to be difficult. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, I'm getting ready to set these on the bike now. Here in a little bit. So we got our springs packed in there. All the keepers are facing the right way. They're aligned correctly. They're even. They're not crooked. Got our springs packed, we're ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll bolt the heads on fully and uh, stick the manifold up there. Uh, I still have to port match the manifold, so I've got it marked, but I haven't cut it yet. So usually I'll, once I get the heads in there, because I, I hadn't even ported the heads before, so I'll, I'll stick the manifold on there and get a bird's eye view of uh, where we got any mismatch against the manifold and the, and the head to so just port matching really and take to the heads. But uh, that's it for this one. Uh, I know I didn't ask anybody to subscribe in the beginning of this video like I'm supposed to or 30 seconds in or whatever, but you know what? If, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. If you want to drop a comment, that'd be great too. If you want to share it, that's fine. I appreciate all of you for watching. I, you know, to me, this stuff's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty dry material, really. You know, you do something for so long and it's, it's not really that exciting. The exciting part is, is actually riding the bike when it's done. It, this is the, the stuff right here. You know, it's just is what it is. But anyway, appreciate everybody. Y'all have a good weekend coming up. It's Friday afternoon. We'll left for lunchtime. Uh, actually, I don't know what time it is. I'm guessing it's probably 2, 1.30, 2, 2.30, somewhere in there. Anyway, everybody have a great weekend. Be careful out there. Have fun. And, uh, Happy Father's Day to all your fathers out there. And all those guys that aren't really fathers but are father figures, you're appreciated too. Anyway, take care. Thank you.